Hey, it's Michael, and today I'm reviewing the LEGO Ideas Polaroid One Step SX70 camera. This set includes 516 pieces and will retail for $80. A huge shout out to LEGO and the Ambassador Network for sending me this early, but all opinions are my own. The build recreates the iconic 1977 rainbow version of the camera, so I only thought it fitting to compare it to the original model. Yes, I did buy a camera just for this review. Looking at the two side by side, it's a really great replica, but of course the LEGO designers would have to make some compromises along the way. But of course, you'd only notice that the proportions aren't perfect if you have them side by side like this. At the very center, we've got one large lens, and we can see the one step label that can be swapped out on the Lego version for one that says 1000. Each has the iconic red shutter button, which is actually a printed piece on the Lego model. And on the other side, each has a contrast wheel, which can be rotated with a stickered piece on the Lego model. And even at the top, they've recreated the slot where you'd put in the optional flash accessory. Around back, we've got the viewfinder, which is a bit more simplified on the Lego model, but it is usable as you can stare down the barrel to frame your shots. And the angled panels at the back come together nicely, though it's the most studded surface. At the front, we can see the Polaroid LAN camera label and the iconic rainbow stripes, which is built using a really unique technique on the set. On the camera, there's this release switch, which opens up the compartment to place film inside. And while there's a tile on the Lego set to represent it, you don't need anything special to pop open the compartment. While not as cavernous as the original camera, the Lego model does a nice job recreating the interior with that geared section. Instead of loading up a pack of film for the Lego model, you insert a single included photo. And once the photo's inserted, you can close up the front of the camera. And with the panels removed, you can see what it looks like when a photo gets inserted. From there, you press the shutter button to eject the photo, and I find the sound it makes pretty satisfying. And here it is from the inside. From there, you can pull out the blank photo, pretend to shake it around like you used to, and flip it around to see the image. There are three of these plastic photo cards included in the set. The photos feature the Lego house, the fan designer's sister, and Polaroid founder and inventor Edwin Land. And the photos can be stored in the Time Zero Supercolor SX70 Land Film box, which looks great with the rainbow stripes and those two printed pieces. Overall, I think the designers did an exceptional job bringing this iconic camera to life, and they really managed to retain what made this version of the camera so unique unique, as well as pack in some fun features. And this was actually my first LEGO set with all paper bags. And I think this set makes an awesome display, just like having the original camera would. Interestingly, for $80, you could also buy a brand new Polaroid camera. And the set does feel a little bit high on the price side to me. And a great cheaper option is the $20 LEGO Creator 3-in-1 retro camera, which LEGO also sent me, and I can't wait to review for you all soon. If you want to pre-order the set and support the channel, there's a link in the description below. And I'll see you all in the next review.